Okay, most of you know me. I'm Donna Culp, Jonathan Culp's mom. And I am the social media director and a board member for the AHUS Foundation. Um, our big thing is communication. Mama Care, oh, oh, thanks, it does. That was on our travels here, yes. I am caregiver to Jonathan, but I wouldn't have the opportunities I have without him. <laughs> anyway, so, okay. Uh, last year we started the Hunter Burke Educational Scholarship, and this was in memory of Hunter Burke, who lost his life to AHUS. And we awarded Hannah Franz, Franz Way uh, as the first recipient of the scholarship. It is open this year as well. And it is open to um, 18 and older US patient with AHUS who wants to further um, study their education. It could be a trade school, it could be a university, a college, and we award $2,500 towards their tuition. And so we'll be announcing in, in the next couple of months um, the parameters for that. It'll be for fall of 2017 through spring of 2018. And if you're interested, there's the email, ahus at scholarship at gmail.com. And uh, it's 2,500 <laughs> yeah, instead of 2,000, yeah. Yeah, that's a good thing. And a, yes, a hospital doctor who knew Hunter. He taught me a lot about how to live life, and that's a lesson I'll always remember when I treat my patients. That's the thumbprint, I think, that patients leave anybody they come in contact with. And I talk about that a lot with Jonathan. You know, you just you, you leave a print, and that print lasts forever, and it leaves an impression. And I think every patient who deals with this disease does that. So social media, we support patients and caregivers. You know, it's to get your story out there. It's to make connections. And as you can see this weekend, these friends have become family, and that's important. And to know that they're, you're not alone. I can tell you with Jonathan, in the very beginning, there wasn't anything. There wasn't social media, there wasn't internet. And so this is huge, this is big. And I think that everybody somehow makes a connection with somebody and to know that, you know what, you're not alone and you'll never be alone again. So social media is a great outlet for that. We are on Facebook. The foundation has a Facebook page. The families, the AHUS families has a Facebook page, but we're also coming up with a foundation-based families page, which it'll be moderated by the foundation. There'll be interesting information, knowledge, links to resources, and it'll be moderated by Amber and myself. And so in the next couple of days, we'll be putting up the link. You're welcome to join, uh, share your story. There are some guidelines we'd like to put in place. Only you can share your story. Only you. Uh, you know, we all are about privacy, but I think in our community, if you want to share your story, I encourage you to do that because your story may offer hope for somebody else. We are also on, not a blank page, <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> We're on Twitter. So everything that we post on Twitter ends up on Facebook as well. And we're on Instagram. If you post a picture on Instagram and you tag the AHUS Foundation, we'll repost it. Tag AHUS Strong. Tag Shaping Our Path Forward. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to, I'm on Facebook all the time. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter. If you have any questions, I can hand you my business card.
contact me if you have ideas for social media. Fundraising, that's a great way to get the word out there. If you're doing something in your community and you want people to know about it, let me know. I'll blast it out there. Yes? What's the Twitter handle? Uh, atypical HUS. At Atypical HUS. Yeah. That'll be on the website and I'll also post it on the foundation um, Facebook page, all the handles, so you know where to go and, like I said, and the taglines for everything. Because we want to get AHUS strong out there, shaping our path forward out there, so we become trending. That's, that's the whole thing is to get our word out there. Any other questions? No? Okay.